Hello friends, you are on the Arkham Play channel and character BIOS and Nightwing. Information, real name Dick Grayson, occupation crime fighter, based in Bloodhaven. Eye color blue, hair color black, height 6, weight 180. First appearance, Tales of the Teen Titans, uh, 184. Oh, oh. 44. Uh, 1984. Bayer, the youngest of a family of acrobats uh, known as the Flying Graysons, Dick Grayson watched uh, his parents die at the hands of the Mafia boss extorting money from the circus. Bruce Wayne adopted the young orphan as his ward and subsequently trained him to become crime, his crime-fighting fight, partner, Robin. Determined to prove, uh, prove himself and grow and weary of living in Batman's shadow, Grayson moved to Bloodhaven to fight crime under his new name, Nightwing. <coughs> attributes trained to fight crime by batman skilled acrobat and master martial artist oracle information real name barbara gordon occupation information broker based in gotham city eye color blue hair color red height 5 and uh, 11 weight 126 first appearance suicide squad 23 january uh, 1989 bio the daughter of gotham city's police commissioner james w gordon barbara gordon taught uh, crime along alongside Batman as Batgirl until, until she was paralyzed from the waist down and confined uh, to a wheelchair. Barbara has since adopted uh, the new identity of Oracle and now supports Batman with her uh, computer exercise exercise providing him with a constant stream of information in the felt to aid his battle against crime attributes eidetica memory recall of uh, everything she sees and reads extensive uh, headquarters in gotham city's clock tower high level hacking and computer skills Remains skilled uh, with Eskrima uh, sticks and batarangs. Penguin. Information. Real name Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. Occupation Black Market uh, Racketeer. Based in Gotham City. Eye color blue. Hair color black. Height uh, 4 and 10, weight 175. First appearance, uh, Detective Comics uh, 58, December 1841. Bio, the Penguin is an eccentric uh, criminal mastermind known for his shady business dealings. Born into the wealthy Cobblepot family, uh, Oswald was sent overseas uh, for school as a boy. When his family hit hard uh, times, Cobblepot Im immersed uh, himself in a criminal education on the streets of London. Years later, he re-emerged as a penguin, uh, a black uh, market arm dealer in Gotham, facilitating uh, the illegal financial activities that found much of the city's underworld. Since his human humiliating defeat in Arkham City, Penguin has uh, ref resurfaced sapling arm arms to Gotham's occupying forest via a front uh, company called North Refrigeration. Refrigeration. 
criminal and fina uh, attributes, criminal and financial mastermind, expert hunt-to-hunt -hunt, uh, combatant, mercilessly cruel, uh, various, various underworld connections. Audio files, listen. Keep that smoke out of my face, little man. What's the matter, Hob? Burning smell bring back some bad memories. You're a real couple of bozos, you know that? Enough. Well, well, about time you showed your face. Yeah, what's left of it? What's the deal, Crane? Why are we here? Because you share something. A fear that strikes at you from the shadow, hunts you, keeps you afraid of the dark. Yeah, yeah, we all fear Batman. Tell us something we don't know. Like how we kill him. That's my job. <laughs> this cocky gobshite is the first Bat fanatic to muscle in on our turf. I'd sooner piss on him than trust him. The coin says give him a chance. Sod the stinking coin. When I make a deal, I like to look a man in the eye. Did you bring a foot to Yeah, real funny, Hob. You keep talking like that, and Scarecrow's little ceasefire ain't gonna happen. <sighs> Let this Arkham Knight run his army. Leave him and Scarecrow to chase the bat. We can take care of ourselves. I'm having nothing to do with your bait job. Aside from my cut, of course. You just make sure our men are armed and their guns are loaded. Oh, don't you worry, Hob. The guns will be loaded. Every bleeding of this truth. Look at you, getting claret everywhere. Look like you've done ten rounds with Grundy. Oh, my arm, I think it's broken. This had better be good, otherwise I'll give you a matching pair. What happened? Oh, we got to the docks, like you said. All these men, they had the same idea as us. Someone warned them, didn't they? You, you dirty, filthy crust. Of course, please. Someone got the trap on all of us. They, they killed everyone. What? He went through us like we weren't there. I never seen anything like him. The Arkham Knight. He had a gun in my mouth. He said this was a family now. We all gotta get along. And he said, you better know your place. Cheeky bastard. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, right, boss? Nah. I can break his bloody arm down. Cruel. <laughs> 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 Poison Ivy. Information. Real name Pamela Lillian Isley. Occupation professional criminal based in Gotham City. Eye color green, hair color red. Height uh, 5 and 8. Weight uh, 115. First appearance Batman 181. June 1966. Bio botanist uh, Pamela Isley was transformed by a science experiment gone wrong into a plant human hybrid with uh, chlorophyll uh, flowing through her veins instead of blood. She developed a toxin touch and fer a pheromone fluid uh, talent for seduction. Her unique uh, brand of uh, eco-terrorism often puts her into conflict with Batman, whilst Iron will usually protect uh, him from her seducive uh, powers. She was recently captured by Nightwing and Impromiscent in Bloodhaven until Harvey Quinn stage an audition breakout. Attributes able to direct the growth of all plant life. Plant uh, genus mixed uh, were with her DNA. Exude natural pheromones uh, that control victims. Skin uh, secretes uh, a deadly toxin. Pathological drive to protect nature from humanity. Professor Pig. Information, real name Laszlo Valentine, occupation Circus Boss, based in Circus of Strange, eye color blue, hair color black, <coughs> height uh, 6 and 1, weight uh, 220, first appearance Batman 60, 60, uh, 666, July 2007. 
bio. Laszlo Valentin uh, was a gifted scientist who suffered a schizophrenic break, causing him to develop a deranged new persona named Professor Pig. Pig formed uh, the circus of Strange and began touring the country, leaving a string of mysterious missing uh, persons uh, ca cases in his uh, wake. An obsessive uh, perfectionist, uh, Pig uses identity destroying drugs and invasive uh, surgery. Uh, on his victims to create um, genderless, lobotomized humans known as Dolotrons. Terrible. Attributes gifted uh, scientist and chemist, obsessive uh, perfectionist, skilled knife thrower, am amateur opera singer, audiophiles. Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, the circus of strange is coming to a town near you. Never before has such a host of talented performers gathered in one place to amaze and entertain. Be astounded by Big Top. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Who knows? But I guarantee it's the most gigantically grotesque assortment of flat you have ever seen. Dumbfounded by the acrobatic oddity that is, I am! Stare over foul, let me come join triplet who defy the limits of the human body and its imagination. Oh, 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 oh. And last, but by no means least, be stunned and horrified by the combustible wonder that is phosphorus crack! Oh, oh, you're gonna see it! To believe it, come and join us, and you'll never look at the world the same way again! Yanasha, my dearest son. Oh, my perfect child, I make these recordings so that you are not alone. So that you know Daddy loves his son. Daddy loves his little pig. <laughs> and we have brought joy to many sad people. They join us now like a big family, growing week by week. Now they feel no pain. They know nothing of misery. I call them my dollar-trons. <laughs> to each new home we move at night, finding a fresh patch of earth to inhabit. Secret places in forgotten parts of town. Ugly wastelands. <laughs> Where the locals tumble unawares into a candy striped tent. <laughs> the Dollatrons are the first to greet them with open arms and <gasps> perfect faces. The climax of the show is when I take them to see Mother. Oh, I tell you, they are amazed by my imagination, confounded by my dexterity, as each is transformed into a beautiful work of art. But Mother is hard to please. She wants more, always more. Never satisfied, always driving me to work harder, to obtain perfection. And I will. Night has drawn its curtain yet again, and the circus moves on. Our numbers swollen to a different patch of earth. On the dark horizon, the building tops glimmer, the heat and smog of industry shrouds a den of criminals and beasts. Gotham is her name. Yanosh, I tell you, the circus has come home. My dear Yanosh, it is time you learned the truth about your mother, your real mother. I remember not her name or how she found me wallowing in that pit of despair. <laughs> oh, like an angel, she swept into my turvy world, dragged me, screaming, <laughs> from shapeless chaos, and wrapped me in her arms. She was a beauty, Yanosh, a 
masterpiece, perfect in every way. Until Mother Ghost found her. Imagine my horror when I emerged from that dreamy soup and discovered what she'd done. Placenta face, cork on smile, ribbon of fractured flesh. Oh, the nails had done their work. But by then my seed was already sown. Your life already begun. Mother would have killed you both had I not stopped her. <laughs> Saved you from her rage. <laughs> Day and night I worked. Month after month, sculpting her loathsome clay to recapture the beauty that saved me that night. The night of your creation. She clung to me as you grew, as I toiled to make her right again. But nothing pleased Mother Goat! Nothing. I did all I could to fix her, to make her perfect. And by the time you came along, I couldn't even look upon that spoiled canvas of her face. I couldn't let that be the face that greeted you in this world. I had to end it, your loss. For you. For mother. She left me no choice. Okay, and let's go. Red Hood. <clears throat> Information, real name, Jason Todd, occupation, vigilante, based in Gotham City, eye color blue, hair color black, height uh, 6, uh, weight uh, 200. First appearance, uh, Batman uh, 635, February uh, 2005, bio. Since uh, Van Cuisin, the Arkham Knight persona, Todd was able to lay his uh, vengeance against Batman to rest and begin to heal the damage that was uh, inflicted on him in the asylum. It was during his uh, recovery uh, that Red Hood was born. Now, while he is once again aligned uh, with his front mentor in uh, wanting to rid Gotham of its criminal contingent, Todd's willingness to kill will forever keep uh, them at odds. Attributes Expert Marksman, Martial ma Arts Master driven by justice, willing to kill his enemies. The Riddler, I hate him. Real name, Eddie Nashton, aka Edward Nigma. occupation professional criminal, based in Gotham City, eye color blue, hair color brown, height uh, 6 and 1, weight 183, first appearance, Detective Comics 140. October 1948. Bio. With an obsessive compulsive need uh, for attention, Edward Nigma is determined to be the cleverest of Gotham City's criminals, plotting elaborate trails of clues and riddles around his crimes. Batman has proven a worthy opponent capable of unraveling the Riddler's most intricate plans. But Nigma is dedicated to creating a mystery that will confound the Dark Knight even if he has to kill someone to do it. Humiliated by Batman on Arkham Island and again in Arkham City, Nigma is more determined uh, than ever to make the caped crusader bow before his superior intellect. Attributes, genius, intellect, driven to test other by uh, leaving clues to his crimes, compulsive need for attention and validation. Audio files. I thought it best we meet alone, Edward. I know what you're doing, Crane. Talking to me away from Cobblepot and the others. You're appealing to my ego. Is it working? Ha! I don't have an ego, Crane. I'm far too brilliant, especially for the likes of you. Of course, Edward. 
But nonetheless, we have a mutual foe. A foe I could vanquish with but one of my cerebral lobes intact. Yet, here you are, proposing an alliance that would let you bask in my luminescent glory. But what if you failed, Edward? What if, by some underhand means, of course, the Batman were to humiliate you again? Absurd! I know, Edward, it's a frightening thought. How many failures can even your enviable reputation withstand? But if the bat were distracted and tugged in too many directions by too many threats, why, then you would be assured of the upper hand. I, uh, I don't know how to respond to your ridiculous insinuations, so all I will say is this. Tell me which day you plan to attack Gotham, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, I will coincidentally put my entirely separate and superior master plan into effect. How kind, Edward. I will keep my fingers crossed. Who is this? Ah, Miss Kyle. You have the privilege of conversing with me, the Riddler. Gotham's premier supervillain and intellectual colossus. And I'm honored, Eddie. Really? Bye. Wait, wait. I'll get to the point. I find myself in need of your unique skill set, your street smart, as your intellectually challenged kind adorably calls them. I'm going to adorably hang up on you, Eddie. No, no, no. Listen. I need something acquired, something valuable. Sorry, Eddie. It's just that I have all these clients who aren't insecure little power-mad man-children. <sighs> Fine. You may name your fee. Information. Ah, the most valuable commodity of all. Scarecrow's planning something involving Batman. I might be furnished with the absurd particulars of his ridiculous scheme. <laughs> I'll get you what you want, Eddie, if you tell me what I need to know. Right, okay. Riddler bot memory formatted, adaptive AI algorithms uploaded, joints oiled. Now, <clears throat> give my creation life! Ah, damn it! Useless hunk of dead metal. Do you want to become a semi-automated theme park mannequin? Because that's the fate in store for you. Problem, Eddie? Ah, Miss Kyle, <laughs> you're here. And you already have company. Almost, anyway. Did you lose your friend's battery? Why, you... yes. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, anyway. I'm depleted. And always compensating for it, too. <laughs> oh, Catwoman, your wit never ceases to... occur. Now, I need you to procure a set of rechargeable energy cells for me. Stag Enterprises' Nimbus Tech will work. I'm sure Wayne Enterprises has an equivalent. Got it. It's been a pleasure as always, Eddie. Except for the talking to you part. Wait! At least take a glimpse at what it is you're supposed to be stealing. There. In the robot's chest cavity. Go on. It won't bite. Eddie, there's no... <laughs> What the hell? Eddie, make this thing let me go. Batteries? You think I needed batteries? Oh, Miss Kyle, you underestimated my bespoke power supply innovations, and that was your downfall. What is this, Eddie? This is, you are, bait. You see, I've identified what I believe to be some sort of attachment between you and Batman. The base nature of this attachment, quite frankly, disgusts me. But it will bring him here. You'll regret this. <laughs> the world's greatest detective does not frighten me. He's not the reason you'll regret it. It's a trap. <clears throat> Robin. Information, real name, Team Drake. Occupation, student. Based in Gotham City. Eye color, blue. Hair color, black. Height, uh, 6. Weight, 189. First appearance, Batman 436, August 1989. Bio, 
Young Ting Drake was in the audience uh, the night the flying Graysons were murdered, where he witnessed Batman leap to the scene inspired by Batman's heroic team closely followed the chronicles of Batman and Robin. Eventually, deducting their secret identities uses his self-taught detective skills, Tim convinced Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, now Nightwing, that a new Robin was needed in the never-ending battle for justice. Tested by the Dark Knight himself with a grueling training, uh, Regimen uh, team earned the right to become Robin and has since lived up to the name. Attributes uh, Keen detective skills, training to fight uh, crime by Batman, arsenal of gadget and advanced technology, near genius level intellect. Scarecrow. Information, real name Jonathan Crane, occupation criminal mastermind, psychiatrist, based in Gotham City, eye color blue, hair color brown, haste uh, 6, weight 140, first appearance, world's finest uh, 3, September 1981. Bio, the self-proclaimed master of fear, Dr. Jonathan Crane, is an obsessive and deranged former psychiatrist who uses a combination of experimental drugs and psychological tactics to exploit his victims' fears and phobias. Prolonged uh, exposure to his own toxin, his uh, rendered scarecrow unable to experience the fear he so desperately craves. The only person who can steal uh, elicite uh, terrors from scarecrow in Batman, following his attacks on the Dark Knight in Arkham Asylum. Scarecrow was mailed by Killer Croc. Rumor has it the, he has since reconstructed his face to resemble his iconic mask while plotting his revenge against Batman and Gotham. Attributes Master of Fear, Professor of Psychology, Expert Chemist, Audiophiles. You should invest in better guards, Crane. And you should invest in some manner. Who are you? Another pretender to the cow? Call me the Argo Knight. <laughs> Another child of the asylum set free. Tell me, what tortured soul cowers behind that mask? It doesn't matter who I am, I'm here because we want the same thing. Bad man, dead. <laughs> You made short work of my guard, but Batman is a very different proposition, one for which I am fully prepared. Those guards I killed, I could replace them with an army, an army trained in his methods. Trained by whom? Me. And what would you know about Batman? His fear. Very well. You have my attention, Arkham Knight. billion is a significant investment. People are willing to pay. And what exactly would we be getting for our money? Tanks, drones, a highly trained infantry. You think you can just bring tanks into Gotham? We hold a city ransom. We create panic and chaos. A distraction. As they run scared, we emerge, take over his habitat. Every rooftop, road, and back alley, we draw him out of the shadows and chip away until he has nowhere left to hide. And no one left to hide behind. If you want him dead, why come to me? You seem capable. He needs to suffer. I suffered, so he will too. So, it's personal. Well, there are many in this city with a gift for causing harm. Not that kind of pain. The real kind. Uh, you want him afraid. I've seen what your toxin does. I want that. You're well informed, 
about all of us, Arkham Knight. But you're wrong about something. I don't want Batman dead. I want him unmade. He's better off dead. Kill him and you martyr him. You make him a legend. But break him, humiliate him, terrify him, and hold him up for the world to see. Then he's nothing but a man. Look, you can do what you want, Crave, but when you're done, I will kill him. Very well, but know this. It will be an act of mercy when you do. Okay, Simon Stack. Re real name Simon Stack, occupation CEO of Stack Enterprises, based in Central City. Eye color blue, hair color white, height 5 and 11, weight 170. First appearance The Brave and the Bold, uh, 57, January 1865. Bio a wealthy scientist, philanthropist, and entrepreneur, Simon Stack is the founder and CEO of Stack Enterprises, a company <clears throat> specializing in advanced, advanced uh, biomedical research. A self-proclaimed uh, visionary, Stack has been developing clean energy solution and a revolutionary airborne inoculation technology on board his airship laboratories. In recent years, Stack Enterprises has been accused of human rights viol violations in regards to medical testings of human. Simon Stack vehemently refuted the accusation and his company was cleared of all charges. Attributes Cunning Negotiator Unscrupulous Sound Business Mind Audio Files Damn it! Sorry, sorry. Dropped it. Jittery hands. I keep thinking someone's gonna barge through the door at any moment. The scotch probably didn't help. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? My name is Alex Satorius. Doctor. Alex Satorius. And this? Uh, well, I suppose this is my confession. Twenty years ago, I went into business with my friend and business partner, Simon Stagg. Oh, it feels strange talking into this thing. I've never been one for the limelight. Never cared for attention. He was the businessman. I was the scientist. Stagg Enterprises was a fine name by me. And we did fine work. I want you to remember that, whatever comes out. The cure for the Tugela virus, that was us. The treatment for Collier syndrome, that was us too. No, not us. That was me. I never cared about the financial, of course, I never needed to. Don't you worry, Alex, Simon used to say, and I believed him. Believed him right up to the day he told me there was a big gaping hole where next year's budget was supposed to be. I wonder now, of course, if he was lying. I mean, can you blame me? If, if you just come out and ask me, I'd probably have said no. I, I, I'm no bleeding heart, but if there'd been no need... Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? These anti-anxiety meds, they, 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 they rattle your brain. What I'm trying to say is that day, the day we ran out of money. That's when the weapons contract began. Hello? <laughs> yes, yes, hello. I am in a better mood today. I've discovered a pharmaceutical cure for paranoia, you see. You put the anti-anxiety pill straight into the whiskey bottle and you swirl it around. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Chemical weapons. Biological weapons, oh, wonderful thing. We went into business to save people, but it turns out that killing them pays better. Not well enough for Simon, though. That greedy, grasping parasite, that bastard! There, there, there are many buyers for this stuff, you see. It's not legal buyers, anyway, so you have to be competitive. But how can you do research quickly when human testing is illegal? Not 
not to mention life-threatening, dangerous, unethical, unfathomably risky. Well, well, it's obvious. You do human testing anyway. <laughs> he, he never, he never told me where they came from. Just that no one would miss them. You think I want forgiveness? You, you think this is some desperate mea culpa? I was raised Catholic, but I chose science over faith. This is not about me, this pathetic, drunken confession. I struck my bargain, let him threaten me into silence while I worked on my vaccines, my cures. So don't judge me, whoever you are. Whichever junior reporter at the Gotham Herald was lucky enough to press the play button on this device, no! This isn't about me. This is about him. He's gotten worse. We're a pharmaceutical company in name alone these days. It's all weapons. Some to the army, even more to the people the army's fighting. And now Scarecrow's here? I know what they're doing. They're taking my technology, my mass inoculation device, and they're turning it into something twisted, something wrong. Well, I won't let that happen. I won't turn a blind eye anymore. This confession will be my epitaph. The proof that I was not content to weigh the good I've done against the evil done by him anymore. If you were listening to this... Dr. Sartorius, Mr. Stagg would like a word. <laughs> Kill him. <clears throat> Bad girl. Information, real name, Barbara, Barbara Gordon, occupation, crime fighter, based in Gotham City, eye color blue, hair color red, height 5 and 11, weight 135, first appearance, Detective Comics uh, 358, 59, January 1967. Bio, the daughter of Gotham City's police commissioner James W. Gordon, Barbara Gordon was forbidden by her overprotective father from joining the GCPD. Instead, she took at the on the identity, ide identity of by by a bad girl and was a crime fighting partner of Batman for years, a career that ended tra tragically when he, the Joker shot her through the spine and confined her to a wheelchair. Attributes expert martial artist, skilled detective, eidetic memory recall of everything she sees and reads. Two face. Information, real name Harvey Dent, occupation professional criminal, based in Gotham City, eye color blue, hair color brown gray, height 6, weight 182, first appearance, Detective Comics uh, 66, August uh, 1942. Bio, District Attorney Harvey Dent was one of Batman's strongest allies in Gotham City until a criminal threw a exit in Dent's face, hideously scaring him. The wounds fractured his uh, fish and he was reborn to face a schizoid, uh, schizoid criminal mastermind obsessed with duality. His formed good luck charm, a two-headed trick silver dollar, uh, was damaged on the side in the attack and Dent has sized on it is a reflection of his uh, half-scared visage. He flips it to decide the fates of his victims. In the wake of the Joker's death, Two-Face is rumored to be working alongside other super villains to bring Gotham uh, to its needs and uh, destroy Batman's once and for all. Attributes hideously scared uh, on half of his face. Extremely skilled with his twin uh, 45 semi-automatics. Uh, psych psychotic obsession with duality and the number two differs to his half-scared con in choices of life or death. 
And Wikivale. Information, real name Wikivale, occupation investigative journalist, based in Gotham City, eye color blue, hair color blonde, height 5 and 7, weight 121, first appearance Batman 49, October, November 1948. Bio. Investigative reporter Vicky Vale got her start at the Gotham City Gazette, where she quickly rose to fame due to her unwavering commitment to rooting out the, out the ugly truth behind Gotham's corruption and poverty. After her frontline news reports, reporting style almost led to her becoming a direct victim of Hugo Strange at the Arkham City, Conspiracy Whale was uh, relentless in bringing all living conspirators in the chance to justice. Undaunted uh, by her near-death experience, Whale remains fiercely dedicated to her works and committed uh, to the people of Gotham. Attributes, hard nosed uh, reporting skills, Gotham's more trusted name in news, fearless, uh, skilled interviewer. So, that's all, my friends. So, goodbye.